Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this colorful cut crease. And the first thing I did was prime my eyelids and then I'm going in with this purple shade from Makeup Geek. And I want to straight off start with telling you guys that I blended this shade all over my crease, but you can also use a light blue shade instead of this light purple shade. Because sometimes I just have those moments that I'm starting my makeup and I have no idea what I'm going for. And this was one of those days that I had no clue what I was going to create. So I started with creating like a blue crease instead of a purple so at the end you won't see anything back from this purple anymore so you can also go in with a light blue shade straight away so now i'm going in with the neptune eyeshadow from makeup geek and i'm going to blend it in my crease as well and this is kind of when i applied this i was like why am i doing this what am i doing i just really had no idea i wasn't even sure if it was going to look great thankfully the end result is nice but i don't know Sometimes I'm just a little bit weird, but I think sometimes it's good to just sit down and be creative and see what you come up with. So now I'm going to use the Morphe 35B eye palette and I'm going to use a mixture of the Neptune eyeshadow with this dark blue eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this in my uh, crease, but more towards the outer V line. So this was also like, I'm now like kind of using a very tiny precise blending brush, but I could have also used a big blending brush to blend it in my crease because I'm going to blend it up upwards anyway. So I don't know what to say. <laughs> so now I'm going to use this light blue shade, which you could have used at the beginning because I'm going to blend it on the same place where I blended the purple shade. So you won't see anything back from it. So I really hope that makes sense. I hope I don't make this video too difficult. Um, I will also try to explain it in the description bar if that makes sense, like what color you could have replaced with what to make it more easy. Um, just to make it like easy in talk, start with the light blue shade, blend it all over in your crease, the shade I'm using right now, and then go in with the dark blue shade and the Neptune eyeshadow and blend it more lower like I did as well. So now I'm going in with this black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this in my crease as well. Trying to keep it as low as possible, like straight in my crease line. And this is because I want it to be much more darker to like create a very dark, intense crease. And for that, you obviously need black because that will make it as dark as possible. And then to blend it out, I'm going in with this dark blue shade again from the Morphe palette. And I'm going to blend it on top of that and a little bit more above it to blend it more towards the blue shades in my crease. And I know this is not really a wearable eye look, at least I'm sure not many of you will wear this to work. <laughs> but I really like these kind of eye looks, so let me know in your comments if this is something you like to see as well. So I can start doing it more often and like use very crazy color combinations to create very unique eye looks. Let me know if that's something you're interested in and then I can do it more often. So now I went back in with the Neptune eyeshadow and I'm blending a bit more of that in my crease because I just really like the color and it's just a very vibrant blue shade, like no other, it's just really pretty. And then I'm done with all the shades in my crease. I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. Light it up, I can't speak your mind. My world's slipping under, give me nothing back. What is love? I can't tell you how. I'm caught up in your thoughts and I See, I've been building walls. You break them down, break them down. Oh, every time I go, brings back your love, back your love. 
Now I'm going in with the shade Nylon by MAC, which is a very nice color to apply in your inner corner area or for underneath your brow bone. It's a really pretty soft shade, which is shimmery and it has a sort of golden undertone. So it's not really a cool undertone, but more a warm undertone and it matches with a lot of eyeshadow colors. So I'm going to apply it at the beginning of my eyelid. Now I'm using a yellow shade and I forgot to take a shot of this product. I will mention the name in the description bar. Um, in case you're curious, but the name is Lemon Drop from Makeup Geek. It's a very intense shimmery yellow golden shade, which is so freaking gorgeous and it's also really pigmented. So I'm applying that at the beginning part of my eyelid, right next to the nylon eyeshadow. Then I'm going in with this Makeup Geek eyeshadow. No, not Makeup Geek, sorry. I mean this Colourpop eyeshadow and this one is so freaking gorgeous. I purchased this I purchased, sorry I'm saying this wrong every time, I purchased this eyeshadow myself uh, when they had a sale going on and this is my favorite purple eyeshadow that I own, it's so freaking gorgeous, like I feel like everyone that, that likes purple, you need this in your life. So this is a tip, you won't regret it. Now I'm going in with this other eyeshadow which I uh, purchased together with the other shade. And I'm going to apply it right next to it. This is also a really pretty purple shade, but it's not like the most gorgeous purple shade I've ever bought. But it's a really nice shade to use in combination um, because it has a sort of same undertone. Then I'm going in with this vibrant pink shade and I just felt like something was missing in my crease. So I applied a little bit of this in my outer V area in my crease, so a little bit more at the outer end and then with whatever is left of my brush I'm going more towards the middle part of my crease. I just felt like the blue didn't really match with the shades on my eyelid and this way I felt like it looked better. So now I'm going to use this shimmery blue shade and I'm going to apply it right next to the purple shade I applied on my eyelid and this, on, this eyeshadow is also really pigmented. I feel like all these shimmery shades in this Morphe palette are really nice and I'm not sure if I've ever used this blue shade. I used many shades from this palette but I don't remember using that one. So then I'm going in with the black eyeshadow and I'm using a very tiny blending brush which is the Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to blend a little bit of that in my outer V area. Now for my eyeliner I'm going to use this NYX blue gel eyeliner. I wanted to do something different because I was already going so dramatic, so I wanted to make it even more dramatic. So I'm going to use a blue eyeliner above my lash line. I loved you without no doubts, but I need love to stay alive. Light it up, I can't speak your mind. My world's slipping on it, giving nothing back. What is up? I can't tell. Then I felt like it had to be even more dramatic, so I'm going to use two glitters mixed together from Certify and I'm applying a little bit of that in the middle part of my eyelid. And to make it stick to my eyelid, I used a little bit mixing medium gel from MAC Cosmetics, but I will mention all the details on what I've used in the description bar. Then I'm going to use this NYX Slide On Pencil, which is just a matte black pencil, applying this in my waterline to make it black and smoky. And then for underneath my lower lash line, I'm going to use the black eyeshadow from the Morphe palette and I'm going to apply it straight underneath my lower lash line. Also softly pressing it on top of my waterline to really connect the black eyeshadow together with the pencil in my waterline so you can't really see any skin showing through anymore because sometimes you can still see skin if that makes sense and I just don't like how it looks. Then to blend it out, I'm going to use this matte purple shade. And I'm just going to start in my outer V, blending it back and forth. And I wanted to use different colors underneath my lower lash line, just like I did on my eyelid. So this is just the first shade and I'm mainly focusing my outer V, blending it a little bit more towards my middle part. Then I'm going in with the shimmery blue shade again. And I'm going to press a little bit of this eyeshadow in the middle part underneath my lower lash line using a MAC 242 brush. Then I'm using this Colourpop eyeshadow again, which is the most gorgeous shade ever. And I'm going to apply a bit of this near the inner corner area. 
And I do have to say, um, you can use your brush uh, to apply this, but using your fingers will make it even more pigmented. So I did this as well off camera. I just dipped my little finger in it and pressed it on my eyelid. And now you can see it's more pigmented. And I used some of the nylon eyeshadow for in my inner corner. Um, I already applied it on the inner corner part of my eyelid. So now I'm also applying it at the inner corner part underneath my lower lash line to kind of connect it. Then for my mascara, I used the Gifted Mascara from Tarte Cosmetics. And then here you have the end result. I used some fake eyelashes. I will mention them in the description bar. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I wasn't really sure after creating the eye look if I liked it, but the more I looked at it, I started liking it. It's just different. I've never seen something like this before. I think the colors look really nice together and I know it's super dramatic and not many of you maybe will recreate this, but I just hope that you enjoy watching it and let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of these super colorful eye looks because I personally really like to create these kind of eye looks. So hopefully you guys will like it too. But yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. And I wish you all an amazing 2018. And yeah, I see you guys next year. <laughs> bye bye. Light it up. I can't speak your mind. My world's slipping on me, give me nothing back. What is up? I can't tell you.